So can you imagine people's faces? It's a weird question, but I'll explain what I mean in a second. So there's this condition, or kind of, not a disorder, but a kind of condition called aphantasia, which is where people are unable to accurately or vividly remember or visualize people's faces, places, and things. It's a condition that affects about two to three percent of the world, apparently. And if you can't imagine someone's face easily, there's a chance you might have it as well. So today we're talking about whether you can dream or lucid dream if you have aphantasia. And before you click away, you might have this condition if you have trouble visualizing things. And uh, it's nothing to be worried about. And I'll explain what you can do in this video. So aphantasia is where you have a difficulty visualizing someone's face or a particular object, right? You can't vividly imagine and visualize this thing. And supposedly some people with aphantasia have trouble dreaming or remembering their dreams. Not everybody though, and this is the interesting thing which I'll get onto in a second. Many people who have aphantasia do actually still dream really vividly, but the dream, there's two things, right? So the first one is that people with aphantasia do dream, but they have trouble remembering it visually when they wake up. So they can't remember the scenes, the faces, and the specific things that they were, they were seeing. And then the second thing is that they often, in their dreams, don't actually see things in the same way that we would if we didn't have aphantasia. For example, their dreams would, inst instead of being a beautiful landscape and a colorful scenery, people with aphantasia would dream about a sensation maybe, or a feeling, or even just a situation or a thought or an idea. It's a different type of dreaming. This doesn't apply to everybody. Okay, so there are some people with aphantasia who still have dr visual dreams. They just can't easily visualize them when they wake up. And then there's also people with aphantasia who uh, have dreams, but they're not really visual. They're kind of feelings or emotions. So you're probably wondering, okay, why do people even have this thing? Why do people get aphantasia? Is it something you can develop or, you know, are you born with it? There's actually no easy answer to that either. You're either born with it or you can develop it later in life. And uh, there are different things that can cause aphantasia. For example, if you have certain types of head injury, traumas, other types of injury, you, you can develop this condition called aphantasia, but you can also just be born with it from birth. And many people, this is what I found really interesting, many people actually have this condition, aphantasia, and they don't even realize it. They don't even know it's a problem because for them, that's all they've ever known. So if they've gone their whole life without being able to visualize someone's face, that's all they've known, that's normal for them. So when they think about someone, they instead of you know forming a picture of their of their face and how they specifically look, someone with aphantasia would just remember how they sound, for example, or what they usually talk about, or the feeling they get when they're with them. So it's just a different type of memory. It's nothing to be worried about, and it's not really a, a disorder in that sense. There's no cure for it because it's not really a problem, unless you make it a problem, you know, unless you have this condition and you wish you could visualize things. But then it's kind of a catch-22 because if you can't visualize things, you don't really know what you're missing out on. So for you, your memory feels perfectly normal and working because you've never experienced the act of visualizing something like most people would. Unless you obviously develop it, you know, later in life and then you do know what you were missing, but that's, you know, a small percentage of people. Another interesting fact about this um, condition is that some people can have a different level of aphantasia. Some people can remember a few faces, you know, maybe even specific people, they can visualize them if they have a strong connection with them, but they can't visualize people they just met or people they saw in a movie once. So there is kind of a spectrum of this um, situation. So in terms of dreams, if you, firstly, if you have this condition, then there are ways to slowly start creeping up and fixing or making the symptoms less obvious. There are exercises you can do that make your visualization better and easier person without aphantasia would also apply to you in terms of dreaming and lucid dreaming. So if you have aphantasia and you still want to have lucid dreams, that's fine too. You still can. You still, if you're like most people, you still will dream. It just means you won't be able to visualize your dream memory as accurately as somebody who doesn't have aphantasia. It's not really a problem at all. So you still need to be writing your dreams down every morning. You still need to keep a dream journal, do reality checks if you want to lose a dream I'm talking about. There's really nothing you should change as such, but if you do have, if you think you have aphantasia, if you think you have trouble visualizing someone's face or what something in the dream looked like, and you want to fix that, then there are solutions for that too. 
there are, you know, there's many different things you could do if you want to be able to visualize better. Firstly, trying to do it is the first one. Don't be one of those people who has um, a condition like aphantasia and you just completely seal yourself off and say, I can never visualize something because although that might be true now, you are able to slowly improve at it if you keep trying. Don't just tell yourself, oh, I can never do this because like I said, there's a, it's a spectrum. So you might be, you know, down here on the spectrum, you can't visualize anything right now. But then if you keep trying for a few months and even years, you might be able to visualize more than you could before. So don't give up, you know, keep trying. If you, if all you can remember is feelings and emotions, that's fine, just write them down and then try and just think about that a bit more. Try and ask yourself questions. The same advice applies to you as it does to someone who just wants to remember more dreams. Okay, wake up, lay down in your bed when you've just woken up and ask yourself questions about what you just dreamt. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes you'll get answers that you didn't have when you first wake up. For example, you wake up, you start remembering a dream, and then you ask yourself, okay, so what was the weather like? Was it raining or was I cold? And when you start asking yourself these questions, different parts of your dream memory become activated. It's a really interesting and useful hack for remembering more dreams. Now, if you can't lucid dream, um, the same things that will make let's say your your average person lucid dream will also make you lucid dream if you have trouble visualizing if you can't visualize things that will not stop you lucid dreaming it just makes it a tiny bit harder but not impossible and especially if you practice what i teach in for example the lucid breakthrough program the lucid dreaming boot camp and there's actually a, a program i created specifically for helping you to remember more dreams called the dream recall program and the same things that i teach in those programs ebooks and courses will apply to you even if you have aphantasia. Now, I just want to make it very clear that there are some people, there's a very small percentage of people who do have aphantasia and who will really struggle to visualize things. If that's the case, then, you know, of course, only you will know what you are capable of doing. So take it slowly, take it one step at a time, but the, the, the least you can do is to try. The least you can do is to try and visualize more, see if you can improve it, especially if you've never tried to before. If you've, you know, one day you've just been told you can't visualize things and you've just accepted that as kind of your destiny, then maybe this is a good time to try and see if there's a bit of a wiggle room, if you can actually change things a little bit. Maybe you can visualize just a little bit more than you thought you could.